Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lanyelle Kuzar and I'm the owner of Yes Event Decor and more. In this video, I wanted to give you guys a simple idea for a girl's baby shower. Now I know I've done a gender reveal before. Actually, I've done a couple of gender reveals, but I don't think I've ever done something for a girl baby shower. So I just wanted to give you a quick idea for that. And then you could also use this for like a little girl's birthday party as well. All right, so let's get started. For this backdrop, I'm gonna be using my boxwood panels, all right? And this is about six and a half feet. It's a little bit more than six and a half feet wide and it's eight feet long. It's four panels wide and five panels long, just in case you were wondering what size I'm using. Now I wanna show you guys how I set up my boxwood backdrop now because it's so simple and it saves you time at your event, all right? So what I do is I take the top pole of my backdrop stand and I attach that directly to the boxwood backdrop using some zip ties, all right? So I'm gonna attach those now and then I'll zoom in so that you can see exactly what I did. Okay, so here's what it looks like when I'm done. I've attached all of my zip ties. And as you can see, I tried to evenly space them out, but it doesn't have to be perfect. And then I just wanted to show you the ends of my poles. So the top pole, I don't extend it all the way out. I leave a couple of inches at the end. Now that my stand is set up, now I'm just gonna attach the top pole that has my boxwood panels on it. As you can see, I flipped it over so you guys can see it. Here's my pole and I'm just gonna take it and attach it. Okay, super simple. Now I'm gonna raise this to eight feet and then I'll get started on my balloons. Before we get started on the balloons, I just wanted to give you guys a quick tip on this boxwood panel. So if you want it to look like this rich green color, make sure that you put it up against the wall. Whenever you have sun shining through it, then you're gonna see like little gaps and little holes in it. It still looks beautiful. There's nothing wrong with that. But if you want it to look like this, where it's green and you can't see the gaps, then you just want to put it up against a wall and make sure that there's no sun shining through it. For my balloons, I'm going to be using this pretty pink color. Okay, this is a satin pink and I love it. So I have nine inch balloons. I have 18 inch balloons, 11 inch balloons, five inch balloons. And then I have two 60Q balloons, which I'm gonna be using to make the balloon garland and then also attach my smaller balloons. So I'm gonna start by blowing up my 11 inch balloons and my 18 inch balloons. I'm not gonna need much because this is not that wide, but I'll let you know how many balloons I end up using.
So my balloon garland is up. As you can see, it took me some time just to shape it in the way that I wanted it to look. Now what I'm gonna be doing is just adding some final touches. So I have some pink flowers here, and then I also have some leaves. And I'm gonna be adding that to my balloon garland just to add some texture and some color to it since it's all pink. Now I'm gonna add my old baby sign to the backdrop and I'm just gonna use some fishing line and safety pins to attach this. guys so let me give you some tips because I didn't get a chance to give you some tips yesterday because I was running out to get moved out of my storage unit all right and I'm gonna be making a video later on because I'm upgrading my storage unit and I will show you guys how I organize all my inventory because I do get questions on that all right so stay tuned so first when you're attaching this old baby sign or whatever sign, whatever wooden sign that you wanna put on your backdrop. I just use fishing line, but I will recommend a thicker fishing line. I'm gonna put a link to the fishing line that I like in the description. This fishing line that I have here in my house was just some leftovers that I got from Walmart. I just went in and picked up whatever fishing line that they had, not realizing that I need a thicker one, all right? And then also, if you don't have fishing line and a safety pin, you could just use the fishing line and then just tie it to the panels. So in back of this, there's those plastic panels. You could just tie the fishing line to that. Another tip that I wanna give to you guys is when you're adding flowers to your balloon garland, please be super careful, okay? I actually had to redo this balloon garland because a couple of my balloons popped when I started to add the flowers, all right? So you wanna make sure that you're bending the ends of your flowers, or what you can do is wrap the ends in floral tape, okay? I just wanna show you what I did. All right, so I didn't have floral tape available, but I did have this black tape. I'll put a link to it in the description. You just wanna make sure that there's no pointy ends that stick out when you're adding your flowers because they will pop. And it is super frustrating <laughs> when you've already put your balloon garland up and then you have a balloon that pops. The last tip that I wanna give you on adding flowers is don't cut your flowers too short, okay? So let me show you what I mean. All right, so you see the length of these, the length of the stem compared to this one? This one kept coming out of the balloon garland where this one I just slid it in and it actually stayed and that's because of the length of the stem so you don't really want to cut your stems before you add it to the balloon garland because if it's too short it'll keep popping out and keep popping out and then it becomes annoying then you have to figure out a way to glue them which I don't really like putting glue on my balloons because I don't want them to pop so don't cut the stems just bend them and then wrap some 
floral tape around it. Oops, and I forgot, I wanna give you guys another last tip. <laughs> So with the balloon garland, when you are adding flowers to it, just know that the flowers add weight to your balloon garland. You want to make sure that you attach it in like four or five different places because you want to make sure that it's snug and attached tightly to the backdrop. Because when you add flowers to your balloon garland, you're adding weight. So you're going to see your balloon garland is going to go like this, right? So you, it's okay for it to tilt a little bit, but you don't want it to come down too much, okay? To where as it messes up the look of your backdrop. So if you guys have any questions, please let me know and I'll see you in my next video.